So this started with Zach's um, meta-analysis and meta-regressions on proximity to failure, which you can just imagine on the x-axis is the number of reps in reserve, and then on the y-axis is how much gains occurred, whether that's muscle growth or strength gains. For um, the proximity to failure meta-regressions, what you see is that hypertrophy does benefit, at least in these short-term studies, which are about 10 weeks on average, from training closer to failure. Again, everything held up equal to the best we can. For strength, we actually saw like basically a completely flat line. What we saw for volume is that more is better for hypertrophy. That does kind of taper off, but there was no clear point where it's like, all right, now we've definitely plateaued or now, you know, there's actually worse gains from additional volume. And then for strength, the findings here were, were actually really interesting such that there was a really, really strong effect of additional volume but not for long. And the last one I'll quickly go over is frequency. Uh, we kind of saw the inverse, such that frequency seemed to have a notable effect up to kind of that moderate frequency range of say, you know, two to three times per week um, for strength gains. But for hypertrophy, it really didn't have an effect